Dean, and we're going to start with the class today. Bonjour tout le monde, welcome everyone. Aujourd'hui c'est dimanche 17 janvier. Uh, and yes, we're going to start, remember that we are doing French Smart 4. Unit 6, Unit 6. Okay, so for this one, today we're going to see les produits laitiers, the milk products. We are going to have some vocabulaire. We're also going to have le beurre de manger. We're going to do a little review on that. And then we're going to have uh, the expression, expression that we're going to use. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, let's start and welcome everyone that just joined. Let's start first with the vocabulaire for all the produits laitiers, for all the milk products. Okay. So here we're going to have le lait. Le beurre, and you have here all the pictures right next to each other, okay? And in the pictures, you also have here, write it down, the names. So it's very easy to follow, it's very good to do, okay? So yes, uh, here we have um, le lait, le beurre, la crème glacée, or you can also say la glace. Then is Le, la crème fouettée. Remember that even if you're muted, but if you want to practice the pronunciation, you can repeat after me. Okay? And remember also that we are going to unmute everyone and you can make questions or practice right at the end of the class. Okay, so we have la crème fouettée, le fromage, le lait au chocolat, et le yogurt. That nowadays, you can also find this is le yaourt. You can find it ready, written in this in this way too, in case uh, you see it in any other textbook or something else or in another class, maybe you can find it like that. Okay, but here for the sake of having everyone the same answer and the correct answer, we're going to call it le yogurt, like this. Okay, so let's go and let's start with the activities. Mettez les lettres dans le bon ordre. Put the letters in the correct order because here we have all the same letters but in not the correct order. So I know some of you practice and do the textbook already before coming to the class, but there are others that do not. So I'm going to leave you a few minutes to complete it in case you, you haven't. So yes, you can do it now. Okay. So yes, also it's the Oscar. In the meantime, I can say hi to everyone. Elias stays from the other class too. Okay, I see everyone. Okay, thank you. I see Benson too. Okay, so I'm gonna start showing you the answers so you can uh, compare with yours and you can check if you have it right or not. We have le yogurt, le beurre, le fromage. Then we have le crème glacée. And then we have le, and then we have crème uh, fouette. Check, please check if you have it right, because crème glacée has two e's, and crème fouette has two e twos and two t's. Um, double t, double e. Okay, and yogurt has so many letters too. So please make sure that you have uh, the correct um, the correct letters. Okay. Oh, I see Oscar, very, very good. Uh, okay, okay. Okay. Remplissez les tirets. This is another activity. Et trouvez les mots mystères. Fill in the blanks and find the mystery word. So for this one, you will just need to fill all the blanks with different letters and you will be able to complete the words and to complete a mystery word on the middle too. So I'm going to also have you um, with a few minutes there so you can complete in case you haven't. And for the ones that just joined, welcome. We are practicing French Smart. This is page 35, page 35, in case uh, you just join, uh, you can make any questions later if you missed uh, something on the class too. Okay. Okay, okay.
Okay, I'm gonna start completing. No, okay, well, I'll give you a few more seconds because if you, in any case you need to check, also remember that for all these activities, you have them right there on the textbook. So you just need to go back and check what you just came to write and you have it there. So the secret word is mm, yummy and knows the answer already. Okay, so I'm going to start completing with the letters, please check that you have them right. La premier, le premier mot, the first word was creme glacée. Then we have fromage. Then we have lait au chocolat. Then this one is chocolate milk. And then we have yogurt. There we go. And like Jamin said in the chat privately to me, lait is the mystery word, lait. Well, William and Michelle look just the same. No wonder you are related. For real, you look so similar. You look so... <laughs> yes, okay. Okay, so yes. Please make sure that you have the right letters. As you can see in these ones, we have a lot of activities related to their letters because the words have many, many letters in there too. That's why you need to check if you have the donor uh, right. Okay. Okay, okay, so let's continue here. Uh, so for this one, we have Relier les mots anglais au mot français which words with the corresponding French words, okay? Uh -huh. Okay, could everyone hear me, right? Okay, so I'm gonna leave you also a few seconds in case you haven't completed this yet. Okay. Oh, I see someone called iPad one two three four five, <laughs> but I guess <laughs> that's okay. We have Kiwi there. I see Simon. Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. Still giving you a few seconds so you can complete this activity in case you haven't done it by your own yet. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna start completing this. So you can check if you have it right or not. So here we have, that was la crème fouette. Then we have here, le lait au chocolat. Because pay attention because this, some of these words are new. Then we have le fromage, that is the cheese. Then we have le beurre, that is butter. Oh, the arrow is a bit off, but I bet you understand. And then we have le yogurt, that is the yogurt, right? But yes, also remember that for like creme glacée, you can find it also as la glace. And for the, the yogurt, you can find it like le, sorry, le yao. Okay, you can find it with these words as well. Also, that depends on the region because, you know, like people speak French in Canada, in France, in South Africa, honestly, North Africa too. Okay. Uh, so, yes. Okay. Let's continue with the next one. And here we have Donner le nom du produit laitier que l'on mange avec l'aliment indiqué. Write the name of a milk product that is eaten with the following food. So, here we have different foods. Like here we have the ice cream cone. We have the cone only. So sad, imagine just eating the cone, not eating the ice cream, right? But yes. Okay, so here you have them all, all these elements, all these products, and there are some that we can have with milk products too. So I will leave you also, I will let you a few minutes so you can complete it in case you haven't. Okay, okay. Okay, remember also that we are page 36. Pretty good. Well, I see Kimi and Oscar completing it. Really, really good. Also, today, scalar people call 12345 on the 12 Okay. Okay, I see Benson now. I will call him Benson all the time. Oh, I see it. You completed it already, Benson. Very good. Very good, Benson. So good, so good. 
So make sure now when you are going through the exercises that you completed it right. And what you can do is you already did that. And for the ones that already did so, you can practice the words with me and you can uh, repeat after me. Okay, 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 okay. I see Kimi with someone alongside too and going like through the material, 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 material. <laughs> okay, okay, let's go. Let's complete this once and please make sure that you have the right answer. So we have for A, le lait, B, le beurre ou le fromage can be both. You can use butter or we also use cheese. And for this one, we have la crème glacée. And here we have la crème fouettée ou le yogurt. Because we use both, yogurt uh, with all this and also we use la crème fouettée, right? We use all of them. So please make sure to have your answer, okay? And also please make sure that you are writing the exact amount of letters that you have to because remember that la crème fouettée has a lot of letters on it and a lot of repeated letters, okay? Okay, 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 okay. So let's keep going here. And we are going to do here uh, a little review of le verre de manger. Pourquoi? Why? Because, um, do you remember that we saw the ER verbs? And every time we saw we got an ER verb, we have the same endings, right? E, E, S, E, O, N, E, S, E, Z, E, N, T. But with the verb manger, that is eat, we will need to add an E. Because if we don't add it here with the person nu, that is us, we're going to say mangon, right? Because if we don't have an E, we just say like that, mangon, right? So, uh, so if that doesn't happen, and this is going to happen with all the verbs that have the same ending. For example, voyager, that means uh, to travel. So if you have the verb voyager, you're going to have the same thing going on, okay? It's going to be the same. Um, Mia, it's saying, tu manges du beurre, nous mangeons de la crème fouettée. Oh, make sure, Mia, it's two T's. Remember, you only wrote one. That's why I say pay a lot of attention. So yes, really good. Okay, construisez des phrases avec la bonne forme du verbe manger suivi de du et de la. Because we also have on the side when we're using du, when we're using de la, and when we're using de et l'apostrophe. That means some. In French, when you say you are eating something, something uncomfortable, because we are eating, what are you eating? Meat. What are you having? Meat. What are you having? Cereal. You cannot count each cereal my cereal right when you eat cereal you don't say okay i'm eating 50 cereals or uh yes okay so you are doing uh it's an uncountable like milk products also because we cannot count how many milks you do now you may, you have a glass of milk or something that's why you're gonna use the uh for example je mange de la crème fouettée je mange La pomme, for example, that's also an exception for this, okay? And remember that de plus de le, de le uh, is going to be du. We don't write de le, we directly say du. For example, je mange du fromage, I'm eating some cheese, okay? Remember that we're always eating some of something. So, okay, Mia, you can, um, you can have here and also you have two more um two more uh phrases to do i'm gonna do the first one tu manges du beurre so you can see that we always have the same structure tu the person manger is the verb le beurre and also check how it's already unconjugated it's not an infinitive every time it ends with r er uh, we're gonna have it in infinitive mode but yes Okay, très bien, Mia. Feel free to write for me on the on the private chat if you want to practice, everyone. So we have tu manges du beurre. The next one is nous mangeons de la crème fouettée. Okay, then we have je mange de la crème glacée. Très bien, il mange du yogurt. Okay. Très bien, Mia. Very, very good. 
Okay, so please everyone make sure you have the correct answers. Make sure that you have it completed like this. Tu manges du beurre. Nous mangeons de la crème fouettée. Je mange de la crème glacée. Et il mange du yaourt. Okay. Okay, okay. We are going to be ready to continue with the next one soon here. Okay, so uh, here we are going to have trouver les mots cachés dans la grille. You will need to find the words in the word search here. We have le yogourt, le au chocolat, fromage, crème glacée, beurre, chocolat chaud, le fouetté, and also uh, crème fouetté. Okay, remember that for, for le le fouetté, it only has one E because it's masculine. La crème fouetté has two E's at the end of the word because it's feminine, okay? So because of that, remember also when this kind of activities to, to uh, include all the letters because sometimes you see, oh, I see it there and you marked it, but you miss one letter, okay? Make sure you don't miss any letter, okay? Uh, okay, so I am going to complete this one because we need to, 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 to start uh, speeding up a bit. We have la crème fouettée. Also, he made sure you also include the other E. We have le lait fouetté with only one E. La crème glacée. Then we have chocolat chaud. Then we have lait au chocolat. We also have beurre. And we have yogurt. And then we have fromage. That is the last one. Make sure you have them all completed, that you have it right. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Make sure you have it right. And I am going to continue with the next one that we are gonna talk now about the expressions. And here we're gonna have the expression je bois, that is that I drink, I am drinking. Note, just like eating, when you say you're drinking something uncomfortable, you must use du, de la, et de et l'apostrophe before the noun. Je bois du juice. I am drinking some juice, okay? Remember that you are using it like that. Je bois du lait. In general, every time you're having something, you're eating something, you are drinking something, remember to use all these ones, okay? Du, de la, de, et la postpone, okay? Okay, so uh, the next activity is construisez des phrases avec l'expression je bois du, de la. Make sentences with the expression Je bois du ou de la, okay? I'm going to have here the first one to show you. Je bois du lait. So you only need to do je bois. And then you need to add du, de la, ou de et l'apostrophe. Also remember that we're going to use de et l'apostrophe every time that the noun starts with an H or with a vowel, okay? If it's a vowel, we will need to do that, okay? So, yes, I will complete the next one so you can see if you have it right. Je bois du lait au chocolat. Je bois du chocolat chaud. Et je bois de la soupe. I hope you remember that la soupe is the soup. Uh, it's very similar to English, so I don't believe it's going to be too hard for you. Okay, make sure you have it right. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Benson is a bit confused. Is everything okay? <laughs> His face is, what is going on here? Bonjour, William. I see you and Michelle. I hope you completed everything because I also see you and Michelle talking a lot during the class. So, yes. Merci beaucoup tout le monde, and 
uh, I will let you now, uh, let me see here. I will let you unmute yourself and yes, uh, let me know if you have, um, you can use the chat as well. And remember that uh, you can ask any questions if you want me to repeat something, if something is not clear or you need to complete something, you want me to go back, let me know. You have time now, okay? You can unmute yourself and you can talk to me. You can use the chat to practice too. Is the end of the class now? Yes, and this is the end of the class. If you don't have any more questions, you can leave. Au revoir. Au revoir, Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Le classe est fini. La classe est finie. Tu peux partir. Au revoir, Madame Josalina. Au revoir, Anthony. See you next class. Au revoir, Madame. J'ai à prendre beaucoup. Oui, tu as à prendre beaucoup. Au revoir, Anthony. Au revoir. Est-ce qu'il y a un pause dans cette classe? Un book? Un livre? Yes, there's always a book. Let me show you here. We're using this book here. We're using this one in case you don't have it. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, I don't okay. have it. You don't have it? Oh, you should get it. We're following the book all the time. Okay. It's okay, still, so you're not shipping. It's still shipping. Okay. 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 That's so good. You can continue practicing and doing the activities anyways. Okay. Au revoir.